I'm here with my design team project for the Scrapbook Blessings Club design team and today I'm going to make a little happy birthday note card and envelope and I am using a Stampin' Up! layering set Lotus Blossom, a crimper, a standard A2 size envelope and some Altenew, um layering inks. So the first thing I'm going to do is my envelope is sealed so I am just going to take that first layer and ink it up with the next to the darkest of that blue ink. And I'm just going to put that first layer down. And I also have a piece of white cardstock that measures four by four and a quarter, I believe. I will be sure and put the measurements of that in the um, coordinating blog post on my blog. And then next, I'm going to take the second layer and ink it up with the next to the lightest color of blue. And the thing I love about the Altenew inks is Altenew makes a lot of layering stamps. So they sell these little mini cubes of ink that work just perfect for layering. It just has such a beautiful effect, which you'll see when I put the last layer down and it really all just comes together. Okay, now I'm taking the third and final layer of this Lotus Blossom and I inked it up with the very lightest of the blue that comes in that four pack. And as you can see, this layer right here really just brings it all together and ties it all in. And it just is such a beautiful image. Okay, next I had some white space I kind of wanted to fill so I took this little butterfly image from the MFT adorable elephant stamp set and I inked it up with the very darkest of the um, blue that comes in the alternate pack so you can kind of see what all four of the colors look like and then I just take it and I just stamp it randomly to just try to fill up um, some of the white space Next, I'm going to take the envelope and um, I'm going to turn it on its side and I am going to score it at an inch of a half and I'm going to cut the top part of the envelope off. Then I am going to take my crimper and I am going to run the bottom part of the envelope through that, you know, to just give it a really cramped look. And then you have a little holder for your note card. So next I'm taking the card and I had intended to step everything on the card as I was doing it on the envelope, but after the first time I forgot. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing as I did on the envelope. I'm going to use the same exact inks and ink up this little lotus blossom. And then there, down in the very corner, you probably can't see it, but I got a little smudge, and that was really bothering me, but I didn't want to start over, so 
Um, I didn't want to waste paper, more like it. So I just took the little butterflies and I stamped them over that smudge. And then I took the happy birthday sentiment from the adorable elephants and inked it up with the darkest ink. And there in the corner, I made a huge boo-boo. I actually dropped the ink pad on the card. So at this point, I was determined not to go back. I was going to use this particular note card. So I got the Lotus Blossom and inked it up again and stamped it right over that smudge and you end up not even being able to see. So if you hadn't watched the video, you wouldn't even know there was this huge smudge there at one time. Lastly, I wanted to add just a little bit more color, so I grabbed a marker that kind of matched the blue of the Altenew inks. This is a Stampin' Up! marker, and I just colored in those butterflies just to add a little bit more color to the actual card itself. But other than that, I just wanted to keep it really clean and simple because, to me, the envelope is the real showstopper here because all you do then is you take your little note card and open your envelope stick it inside and then you have this little lid type thing that just goes right over it so I really love this particular project and I hope you enjoyed it too Thank you so much for watching. Bye.